Hello Techies, welcome to episode 4 of the Hidden Web Series. And today, we're diving into one of the most important questions for dark web beginners. How do you find real dot on your site? And stay safe while doing it. The dark web has useful tools, but it's also full of scams and traps. So this episode will guide you step by step through verifying sites, avoiding scams, and protecting your identity. First, let's understand what a dot on your site actually is. Unlike dot com websites you find on Google, dot on your site lives in a hidden part of the internet. They are only accessible through the Tor browser, which bounces your traffic through layers of encryption like pinning and onion, which we explained earlier in episode 2 and 3. Each layers add more privacy, making it almost impossible to trace your connection. This is why dot on your sites are used for privacy, journalism, and yes, sometimes illegal store, but not everything on the dark web is bad. And the key is to access it safely. Okay, but where do you actually find real dot on your links? There are three trusted sources. Number one, we have the hidden wiki. It's like a directory, it's least popular dot on your site by category, but be careful. Anyone can submit the links, so double check before trusting them. Also, we have Dark.fail. It's a more secure option. It's a surface website that tracks and verifies dot onion mirrors for major platforms. It shows if a site is online and verified. Also, we have Reddit, especially communities like R Tor and R Darknet Market. These forums are active and users often flag scams. And if a site shows up on all three, that's a good sign. Now let's talk about verifying links with PGP or pretty good privacy. Think of it like a digital fingerprint that proves a site is real. Legit sites publish their PGP key and use it to sign messages or links. When you verify this, signature it confirms the message come from the real owner if the signature doesn't match this site could be a fake trying to trick you don't worry if this sounds technical in our next episode we'll walk you through how to verify a pgp signature using filters now let's be real there are lots of fake sites out there so how do you avoid getting scammed and here are some red flags if you noticed URLs with strange spellings, bad design or grammar, weird payment methods, and other common scam tactics, too good to be true offers, prayer to act first, random DMs asking for info. To protect yourself, there is need to bookmark verified sites. Never share personal info. Always use escrow services if you ever need to make purchases. And remember, don't trust links from random videos or forums, including mine. If you are exploring the dark web, anonymity matters a lot. Let's break this down into three layers. Number one, identity protection. Never use your real name, photo, or personal email. Use separate usernames and accounts just for Tor. Number two, technical protection. Use a VPN plus Tor for stronger encryption. Disable JavaScript. Or and you can try the Pays operating system, which forgets everything when you shut down the laptop, like we've explained in episode two. Number three, behavioral protection. Don't download unknown files. Understand how cryptocurrency works before using it and keep different activities separated. Don't mix your browsing, messaging and buying all in one place. This is the art of good offsets and keep you safer. To wrap it up, use trusted directories like EdenWiki and Dark.co. Verify links with PGP. Never use your real identity or personal email. Combine VPN plus store for better privacy. The dark web can be useful if you navigate it the right way. Stay sharp 
stay anonymous and stay safe. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe to ATEC Ops. In our next episode, we'll guide you step by step through verifying the real PGP signature.